Dolphin and the Woolly Bear There once was a woolly bear who wandered the wood. When it came to survival, he did what he could. He hid under leaves or a tree's broken back. But if they would see him, the birds would attack. They'd kick him and punch him and slap him around. They'd then try to eat him, but he'd crawl underground. Slow walking sucks, the woolly bear deemed. If I'm gonna live, I need a scheme. He poked his head up from where he had dove and spotted some splashing nearby in a cove. A young happy dolphin frolicked and played. His naive day was as clear as the day. The woolly bear made his way towards his prey, hunted by hungry birds on the way. On his slow sojourn, a plan formed quite fast. This bottlenose bastard could save my black ass. He reached water's edge and presented his notion. The dolphin heard all from the warmth of his ocean. I need protection, was Wee Woolly's plea. Hop out of that water and come work for me. You'll live on the land and I'll live on your snout. Then I won't get attacked while we're walking about. Work for you? Live on land? Dolphin finally said. But if I don't have water, I might just drop dead. What? That's a lie. That's just propaganda. And you haven't heard the full memoranda. I'm no ordinary duochrome bug. I can do magic. He said, looking smug. Ooh. Dolphin cooed. What can you do? I can make others respect and love you. Really? For me? Love and respect? How do you do it? He asked the insect. Wooly leaned closer, and his eyes got much littler. I can make you the new adult Hitler. Who's adult Hitler? The dolphin inquired. He was a man that humans admired. He led many people and was known worldwide. They granted his wishes. The woolly bear cried. The dolphin could not resist adoration. He agreed to the offer with no hesitation. So he pulled himself out of his safe, wet repose, and the woolly bear settled himself on his nose. Together they went for a walk in the wood to see if the plan would work as it should. As the Adolf amalgam dragged itself where it may, lo and behold, the birds stayed away. What the? Wooly was safe in the spot he had curled and said to himself, I'm the king of the wild. His aquatic acquaintance, of course acquiescent, marveled at nature so dry yet so pleasant. The next day, the plan itself went much further, with a dolphin-sized outfit befitting the Fuhrer. From the sharp, tooth-filled snout where the woolly bear lay, the dolphin would plead his case when he'd say, I find that I'm quite thirsty. I need a drink. That's just what those damn birds want you to think. They know you're a threat to their once perfect daughter. They want you behind your former wet water. We'll show them what's what, those feathery pests. And the first thing he did was burn down their nests. Then he stole all the seed for the winged population and covered their homes with bird defamation. Well, the birds raised objections as one would expect, and the woolly bear listened with measured respect. His answer was swift, albeit contrary. He herded them into a small aviary. There they would toil all the birds he could shove in, and those that complained were sent to the oven. I can't go much further. The dolphin would wheeze. said his mustache illusion. My master plan is near the conclusion. By this time tomorrow, you'll be ocean bound. And both of us chumps will get off solid ground. But while he cocooned, he could pay no attention to the birds who struck deals of their own for protection. Though the dolphin looked forward to a swim in the tide, he began to regret his assisting in genocide. But his tongue was so dry and his belly so bruised, too weak to speak of power abused.
just then the bird's plan had reached its first stage. When their vicious cohorts were freed from their cage, they hunt down their prey and all hope soon fades, because nothing can stop rabid pit bulls with eggs. The birds began gloating of what was to come. When Dolphin heard this, he knew he was dumb. His panicking peaked as dogs ran into view. He screamed to his friend, What shall we do? Why should I care? He replied on the fly. Thanks for the help. See you later. Bye-bye. Drained and betrayed and alone on dry ground and due to be mauled by HIV hounds, he had little choice of what should be done, so he picked up the end of a powerful gun, swallowed the barrel, his fin on the trigger. Now the ocean he swims is eternally bigger.